Question on Kaylee Hamilton theorem. Problem number two. Use Kaylee Hamilton theorem. So here using no need to verify equal to zero. Using Kaylee Hamilton theorem to find the value of the matrix lengthy matrix. So right? we want to find the value of this matrix. This is a power eight minus five a power seven plus seven a power six minus three a power five plus a power four minus five a cube plus eight a square minus two a plus i. If the matrix A, right? So for this type of sums, first find the characteristic equation, right? So there is lambda cube minus h one lambda square plus h two lambda minus h three equal to zero. Then s one sum of the main diagonal elements two three five, right? S two is sum of the minor of the main diagonal elements. What is the minor of two is one zero one two. Then minor of one is two one one two. Minor of two is two one zero. Two one zero. So much one into two two plus two into two four four minus one three one into two two so five seven right four four plus three is seven and then next three is determinant of a what is the determinant two one one zero one zero one one two so determinant expansion. So two into one into two two minus zero minus one into zero into zero zero minus zero. Then one into how much one zero into one zero minus one. So we get two two is four zero. Then one into minus one minus one. So minus three, sorry plus three. So therefore, characteristic equation is substitute the value of s one, s two, and s three in the characteristic equation. That is lambda q minus s one lambda square plus s two lambda minus s three equal to zero. Right? Then We want to evaluate this matrix using CHT. So by Cayley-Hamilton theorem. So by Cayley-Hamilton theorem, the three square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So replace lambda by a. That is a cube minus five a square plus seven a minus three i equal to zero. Here i is number. Here we have to write the matrix. Therefore, I am writing here three i. I is the unit matrix. 3i equal to zero. You have no need to verify, right? Question is using Cayley-Hamilton theorem. So no need to verify. So directly. Uh, all right. So to evaluate this matrix, right? So by long division method, by long division method. So right now they given to find the matrix. There is a power eight minus five a power seven plus seven a power six minus three a power five plus a power four minus five a power three plus eight a power two minus two a plus i. Right. So here divided by the, by its characteristic equation. What is the characteristic equation by CHT? That is a cube minus five a square plus seven a minus three i. A a power i, a a power three. Therefore, multiply with a power five. So a power five into a power three is a power eight. A power five minus five a power seven plus seven a power six. Minus three a power five. So change the sign, cancel the term. Minus three, this is also cancels. 
So what is the remaining term? a power 4 minus 5a power 3 plus 8a square minus 2a plus i. So here a power 4, here a power 3, so multiply with a. a into a power 3 is a power 4 minus 5 a power 3 plus 7 a power 2 minus 3 a. Change the sign, cancel the term. Cancel, cancel. 8 minus 7, 1. So a square plus 3 minus 2 plus a plus i. This is divisor, this is quotient, this is remainder. Right. So the given to find this the value of this matrix. So this matrix equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. What is the divisor? Divisor is D. That is a cube minus 5a square plus 7a minus 3i into quotient. Quotient is a power 5 plus a plus remainder. What is the remainder? a square plus a plus i. Right? a square plus a plus i. What is the value of this? Value is 0 by CHT. Right? 0 into this 0, we get only the remainder. What is the remainder? a square plus a plus i. So for this matrix, it is enough to find a square plus a plus i. What is a square? Just multiply a into a. Right? That will be equation 1. So first we find a square matrix. That is a into a. A is the given matrix. Given matrix. What is the given matrix? Given matrix is 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2. Into a, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2. So a square is a into a. A square value is So a square is 5, 4, 4. Multiply the two matrices, we get this answer 4, 4, 5. So therefore, final answer is 8 power 8 minus 5 a power 7 plus 7 a power 6 and so on which is equal to how much a square plus a plus i a square is 5 4 4 0 1 0 4 4 5 a is the given matrix that is 2 1 1 0 1 0 1, 1, 2 plus i, i is the unit matrix for 3 by 3 right, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 1, 8 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 0, 5 4, 5, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 1, so 3, 0, 0, 0 4, 5, 4, 5 5, 7, 8, which is the value of the matrix. That's all.